Nitish Kumar, Assistant Professor, Ignan University. Welcome to the lecture series on Yarn Manufacturing. Today we are going to discuss on pressing and bailing of cotton. This is Unit One, Class Five. So far, we have discussed about various aspects related to the ginning and the various fiber parameters especially with respect to the cotton so cotton is one of the mostly used fiber and most of the spinning is mainly for the staple fibers cotton is a staple fiber apart from staple fiber filaments are also there but whereas for filaments it is a continuous strand of fiber and hence spinning may not be required for filaments so silk is an example for filament but whereas staple silk also will be there where the damaged cocoons and all will be comes into the picture so in our specific topic today we are going to discuss about the pressing and bailing of cotton which is a sub topic of ginning industry ginning is the process of separation of seeds and fibers seeds are separated from the fibers whereas the raw material is referred as kapas it will be converted into the cotton link and the seeds on the surface of seeds some of the short fibers also will be there those are referred as linters linters are a kind of twist so once the cotton link which is separated which need to be transported or which need to be conveyed to the next process in order to produce a yarn now cotton is a crop which is very much seasonal okay so out of 365 days we cannot cultivate the cotton we cannot harvest okay so what happens all the cotton which will be available at some stage so spinning mills what they will do they will purchase the cotton based upon the season when they are available and then it will be stored for very long time. generally many of the spinning mills will have up to one year supply okay suppose whatever the raw material requirement they will store up to one year okay but thanks to cca and various other institutions which came into the picture so nowadays the spinning mills are maintaining an inventory of only 3 months sufficient for why because the second season also some of the states are growing on okay so what happens is the cotton is a commodity okay which also will be traded in mcs so the cotton price will vary depending upon the various parameters under so everybody want to purchase when the prices are lower okay. and of course it is an investment that have now what happens is the cotton price generally given with respect to a candy one candy is 356 kg so in order to store the cotton what happens we cannot store the cotton with respect to when the cotton is in that open form okay as you know that cotton is hygroscopic in nature which absorbs moisture and also cotton is flame attracting material means it is a highly flammable material once it attracts fire so what happens it will be keep on burning as it is cellulosic fiber the flammability of cotton is much higher than wool wool is generally less flammable the loi limiting oxygen index of cotton is highly flammable than other fibers so what 
happens when you are storing the cotton for a very longer time. The flammability also comes into the picture. And generally what happens is this storage of cotton is a very big picture. Okay. So generally the cotton is a commodity which is very soft and open in nature. Okay. But it attracts a lot of microbes and other organisms so that what happens if these organisms are uh, the fungus and all it will stay on the top of cellulose since, since the cotton is a cellulosic fiber it will be keep on eating it and it can keep on growing on top of the cotton cotton is one of the fiber which attracts a lot of microbes okay and a lot of bacteria so in order to avoid all these problems, generally the cotton will be stored in a condition where it is compressed by almost 40 times. The cotton will be compressed almost or more than 40 times. Okay. Understood? Say the cotton which can be filled up to 40 meter cube. 40 meter cube can be brought down by 1 meter cube. Okay. Meter cube is a volume. So whatever the volume if you are referring, okay, the volume can be compressed by more than 40 times. More than 40 times than its normal uh, uh, density or which is another way. Yes. So let us go into the topic and in this session we are going to discuss about various machinery and technology which is involved in pressing of the cotton and making it into the bail form. So what's covered in this topic is need of pressing, pressing and bailing of cotton and there are different types like down packing bail press, double box press, up packing bail press and the dimensions of bail press as per the specifications. This we are going to see in this case. Yeah. What is the need of pressing? Okay. So, first thing, it is a seasonal crop, it must be stored for some time. We cannot use whatever the cotton we produce today for one week or something. The spinning industries which will run all 365 days. There are ginning industries at maximum 180 days. In a year, at maximum 6 months. The remaining 6 months, ginning industries are closed. It is, it will not run throughout the year. Okay. It will run only 6 months. The remaining 6 months, the ginning industries are closed. So, what happens? As the cotton occupies so much of space, it needs to be compacted so that it can be stored. Okay. So, by compressing, the storage space can be reduced. Okay. And also at the same time, it is very easy or less volume will be sufficient during the transport also. Transport means sometimes the sea shipments will come into the picture. Okay, maybe all around from Australia to India, the cotton will come here. First of all. So what happens? These sea shipment, they will see the volumetric weight. Okay. It's not simply the kg basis, not the simple weight, the volumetric weight. They also see volume and also see weight. Whichever is uh, higher, accordingly, they will take the charges based upon the volumetric weight. Now, if you consider the cotton volumetric weight, so what happens is it attracts too much of transportation charges. So in order to reduce it, it can be easily compressed so that which occupies very less space during the transportation. Not only the transportation, during the storage also it will be stored. So as it is compressed, it attracts very less transportation charges and easy to handle, easy to handle. 
since these are compressed into a small bell sandal while compared with a very big volumetric uh, mechanisms it can be easily handled then the more shelf life if the cotton is kept in an open form hardly it can withstand 3 months time in the atmosphere but as it is compressed what happens is it can be the shelf life can be increased up to 5 years so the cotton which is compressed and made into a bale form by means of properly providing a protective layer on top of the surface of the spinel what happens is this bales can be kept in the shelf for a maximum of 5 years of course there will be a slight reduction of strength may happen but if it is kept in the open form it will sustain hardly weeks so the more shelf life can be obtained by means of compressing of this cotton with respect to baling process so what happens lesser damage to the cotton it will not absorb moisture during the storage and also it will it will not attract any of the uh, microbial or fungal activity whatever if it is there slightly but in the pressurized condition it cannot sustain okay so by means of uh, compressing it what happens is the chances of fire also will be slightly lesser the chances of fire also will be slightly lesser the time required to catch the ignition may be longer but once if it is ignited and going on properly again it is one of the deadly fiber with respect to fire okay so any of the zipping mail or spinning mail if it catches fire immediately it need to be stopped otherwise the entire mill will be under fire within minutes why because again cotton is a highly flammable so i hope you understood the need of pressing the cotton it will reduces the space it will reduces the transport charges and it is very easy to handle during the transportation and storing and more shelf life can be obtained and also lesser damages will happen to the cotton yes so then it can be of three different types down packing bale press up packing bale within the down packing bale press there may be okay, two sections also will be there we will see in detail in this one here what happens is the cotton will be stored in a cylinder where on top of this a piston will be there piston means where it can move okay so what happens on one side it is fixed and on the other side it will be moving so it will keep on compress once it reaches to compression stage then the people will pack it and then it will be okay understand so in order to push this what happens it requires a piston okay it requires a piston now piston is something in order to push this obviously it is not so small item or it is not something right each bale may consist of 500 pounds of cotton that means 220 kg of cotton cotton normally itself it is so much volumetric so what happens it need to be compressed in such a state that it should be somewhat okay so it requires lot of energy to push it okay so the piston which pushes it okay generally of two types one is pneumatic one another one is hydraulic one pneumatic one means maybe compressed air will be used to press this piston another one is hydraulic okay instead of a compressed air compressed oils will be used certain uh, oils will be used to press the piston such that this cotton can be compressed once it is in the compressed state then what happens people or some mechanisms or some sort of automation will be used in such a way that so the packing of this bale to take place okay that can be with the either pp coin or a metal rod or metal strips okay any of the compressed mechanisms can be used such that to hold in its compressed state to hold in its compressed state and sometimes what happens if any of these packings are open then what happens it will bulge out 
Okay. So during the unpacking of these bales also, we should take maximum care. Otherwise, what will happen? Which is under a very compressive state. All of a sudden, if it is open, it will outburst. Isn't it? So what happens is all of a sudden this twine will jump at it. Okay. So sufficient care should be taken even while opening the bales from its storage capacity. So one is the down packing bale press. In this what happens the cotton will be kept and then the piston will push it from the top. Okay. Once it ups again it will be pushed. Again push it. Then up. So it will create some space. So it will complete some cycles and keep on pressing it. Understood? So finally it will achieve the required state. Generally it cannot be completed in a single stage. Okay. So, of course, in single stage also it can be done, but what happens is the required state of compression may not be obtained with the single type of cylinder. So, that is the reason the double box bale press will be done. In this, what happens? The cleaned lint from the ginning industry is compressed into bales, so which will be covered to protect them from contamination during transportation and storage. So these bales are packaged at a density of 14 and 28 LB per feet cube. Okay. So what happens is 14 LB per uh, 14 to 28 LB per feet cube. One cubic feet. Okay. Very small it is, right? One cubic feet. Okay. So that will consist of around 14 to 28 LB. That means more than 10 inch. That at the first row. Okay. If you see in this video, in this photo, <laughs> what happens is there are two containers or cylinders. So first one will be the initial compression, then the machine will rotate, then what happens? The final compression will take place. So there itself the bale will be packed and then up off. So in most of the uh, these gins. The cotton is packaged with this double box press. Why? Because in order to obtain the sufficient amount of pressure. Okay. So that can be a, may a, achieved either mechanically or pneumatically or hydraulic uh, trampers will be used as a piston. So it will be reached to a compression stage of uh, 22 40 LB per cubic feet. 22 40 LB per cubic feet. So if you see in this photograph, here the cotton will be conveyed through an inclined conveyor. The cotton will be conveyed through an inclined conveyor. So whereas it will fill the cotton in uh, the first box. When one piston which will be, if you see the piston size is very small in the first one. Okay. Which is numbered as 2. Okay. So what happens? It will be keep on pushing. Okay, so some amount of compression will be applied. Then this box 2 will come to 1, 1 will come to 2. Okay, then the big piston, if you see the blue color piston on the top. So, what happens if you compress in such a state that maximum compression will be expected. By that time, what will happen? The other position will be keep on feeding. The other position will be keep on feeding the material again. Okay. So that the maximum efficiency can be applied. So, you see this other one, whereas here also two will be there and both pistons are there. But here, instead of a inclined conveyor, maybe uh, a pneumatic uh, conveying of the material will be there. Means the cotton will come and fall down. Okay. Whereas the transportation is not a as like an escalator. Whereas it is like a air. Okay, it will blow the cotton inside this chamber and then the cotton will be filled up and inside there will be a weight mechanism, how much weight it fits. Until it reaches that weight, it will be keep on feeding. Okay, once the feeding, the required amount of material for one bale, if it reaches, then what happens? Then it will convert to the other one. Now, let us see a video to understand the bearing press more conveniently. You can see the two cylinders which are available 
here. Now you see the both are uh, rotating. Okay. The one first one which is filled. Now what is happening? The second, the final compression is taking place, and then the person is bringing the move ladder or uh, in order to move the bed. You can see the red color ones. Those will be used for the packing of the bed. Now you see, now it reached to the maximum compression stage, whereas the other cylinder is keep on oscillating in such a way that where whatever the incoming cotton will be compressed. The second one, where with the red uh, holders are there, they have attached the PP twine and then they are completing the packaging. Now you can see now those are bulged, isn't it? Okay, the PP twine. Now this mechanism is going basically to transport this bed. Once it is done, it will be kicked for the transport. Then it will come back. Okay. Whereas the other cylinder is continuously being filled with the incoming material such that it will be done. So once again the operator is removing any of the excess uh, cotton tufts or fluff which is accumulated on top of this uh, machine such that it will be clean and uh, it will not get jammed into any of the machines. Okay. Understood? Isn't it simple? But uh, within two minutes uh, almost uh, the gale packing is done and it is removed and transported whereas the person who is wearing the hat if you see there is it you see the closer look of this kind of packing now, which is compressed, this is it, compressed, and this cylinder is attaching the PP coins like polypropylene coins or metallic coins or any sort of metallic rods also will be used in order to hold this compressed state of wear. Now it is waiting until the final compression, the lever is over, open. Then as the doors are getting up, both the holder, the stationary and the mobile holder will hold this cotton compressed material and the packing will take place in such a way that now you can see this twine are getting inserted and it will automatically take it and also completes the uh, securing mechanism of this pair. Okay. Is it it? If the same thing to be done manually, it is risky and also it occupies more amount of time. You see now the bale packing is done, okay, so the securing is done and it, it is kicked from the bale press and it will be completed, the secured mechanism. So here what happens, now whatever this compressed bale, it needs to be secured with uh, some sort of uh, maybe a polythene sheet or a gauze cloth or uh, a non-woven cloth any of the other protective mechanisms should be given otherwise what happens during the transportation a lot of soiling is going to yes i hope you understood from the video in a better way now we are going to see the up packing bale press video Whereas the cotton material will be dumped into a very deep hole and then the ram will be comes from the downwards. Okay. We will see this in the video. This is a up packing machine. Earlier in the video that is a down packing machine. And this is a up packing machine. In this what happens? There will be a very big tunnel like 15 feet down and all this 15 feet down will be filled with a cotton material and then there will be a lower ramp. It will push from the bottom to top. Understood the mechanism, the different mechanism. In the earlier case where the cotton will be compressed from the top but in this mechanism the cotton will be compressed from the bottom. Okay, now you see the material is being pushed from the bottom. Okay. Understood? So this is the mechanism. The, there is a difference between the up packing and the down packing. This is referred as up packing mechanism. Okay. So the cotton will be compressed from the bottom. Okay. So what is the advantage in this case? The space saving. The space saving. 
But what happens if the mechanism is uh, somewhat uh, little intricate, such that it will be a problem or something, uh, it will take more time to access the spare parts and that. Now, in this video, he is doing uh, a manually packing. Okay, it's not automatic packing, it's a manual packing. Two people in this side and two people on that side. What happens? Several uh, strips of uh, either different polymer or sometimes metal also will be used. And then what happens? It will be done. And meanwhile, what happens? The second chamber will be keep on filled with the material. Isn't it? So we have seen manual packing, automatic packing, and also we have seen the uh, what called the down packing and up packing with respect to the bales. Now you see the transportation of the bale is taking place by using some sort of mechanisms. Okay. Here it will be uh, applied with uh, some sort of protection either on the polyethylene or uh, gauze cloth. Yes, I hope you understood the mechanism of this up packing bale. Now we have seen up packing bale press, down packing bale press and multiple box bale press. Okay. If you see the dimensions, the universally accepted in the entire continent, uh, entire world, 500 pounds, like 227 kg. Okay. Whereas the height is up to 55 inches, that means uh, less than uh, 5 feet, and 21 inches thickness and 28 inches wide. Sometimes it will bulge, it should not be more than 33 inches. So, 33 inches. So, this table shows the bare dimensions. Okay. Uh, the lengthwise, widthwise, and the tying, how much should be the tying. So, even once it is tied, also some sort of bulging will happen in that region. Okay. So, if you see, in English system and SI system, weight should be 500 pounds, that means 226.8 kg. Okay, the length is 54 to 55 inches, and width is 20 to 21 inches, and average bulge is okay. The tying area is somewhere around 28, that means the bulge thickness should be 33 or less. 33 or less. So, if you see in this mechanism, the volume is 17 feet. The volume is 17 feet cube is the volume of the entire bed. And if you see the density, this is a 28 lb per cubic feet. 28 lb per cubic feet. So this is the general dimensions for beds. Okay. Sometimes uh, it can be even increased or even reduced. Most of the Indian uh, manufacturers if they wanted to transport within the state or something like that it will not be compressed for this much they will go up to 20 lb per cubic feet so that what happens within the similar dimension the bale weight will be somewhere around 160 to 170 kg only 226.8 kg will not be reached in case of an Indian bales Indian bales only 160 to 170 kg will be there. Okay. So, the American cotton sandal generally will they will follow the standard method of 500 mb. And there are a few Egyptian uh, cotton manufacturers in certain uh, uh, pyramid areas and all. Uh, what happens? They will be following even 400 kg bear. 400 kg bear. These are little difficult to handle. Like in some of the best cottons, like Supima cotton sandal, generally available at a 400 kg apm. Okay, again, this bale dimension and the weight we are more or less a little changed. Okay, but the density will be maximum up to 40 lb per cubic feet. It will be gone up to 40 lb per cubic feet. Okay, so that's all for today's class. I hope you understood the various parameters which are required in terms of pressing and bailing. So in this class we have discussed about the need of pressing and the mechanisms involved in bailing press and different types of 
very impressive. Okay, so I sincerely think that we have learned something new today, and uh, thank you very much for uh, continuously watching and uh, stay safe. Yes. Thank you.